Hello, hello, can you hear me? I'm just having this. Something happened to my computer this week, so I had to set up everything from scratch. And I don't know if the settings I have is it's good enough. So let me know. Like like this is like when I move this, this is fine or something. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's wait a little bit until more people come. In the meantime, some news some news about uh what's been going on um you may have noticed that there are not uh new courses on our youtube channel and the reason is is that we're making another type of tutorial we are focusing on creating bigger tutorials and more complete like creating games from scratch with different types of games and the one we're doing now it's it's like a Skyrim game where it's a first person uh, the camera is per first person and then you just need to use your sword and use you, with your left hand you can throw magic and there are some enemies there so it is still in work in progress, so we are like maybe halfway there. So that that's why it's taking so long to uh, to finish those. But we think it's gonna it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be very unique, and just like this project, we're gonna do then the next ones are gonna be like that too, like bigger projects, more things to learn and hopefully more unique just because you have the option to to learn whatever you want in a specific type of game and the good thing about this is that because you're creating a game yeah we're not really showing you like oh look at this tool like what you can do and then you're like okay then what what do i do with that right so that's uh that's basically it I, I have a guy who's making a lot of noise my, my neighbor is doing a lot of noise he's constructing something there i don't know what i don't know if you guys can hear it if you don't that's a blessing if if you do sorry about that Okay, let's see. I'm not putting the sound just because I never know with you guys if you're using sounds that are copyrighted or not. I don't have a problem with that, but YouTube does. And the problem is, is it's it's like sometimes like uh like i don't mind i can mute uh that part of the video if the video gets demonetized the problem is if i'm explaining something you won't be able to hear it too so it's a double edged sword uh by the way if you want me to review your game I think you still have time, you just need to go to our Discord channel, check the links in the description of the video. Uh, join our Discord channel and there is a place for you to put public reviews. So... Here. Okay. So, public reviews 
and and here you can just pause your game and if if it's on time i may be able to see it okay okay so let's see this one is from pgp cries Not sure what it is, but Nice environment, I like the colors. Okay. Put it again. Okay, I, well, I guess you want me to just critique your combat system to see what what kind of things you can improve here. Um, I won't comment much on the level because looks like this is a gym, like you're trying some stuff here and there. Um, I like your UI just the. Just the fact that you don't have a placeholder UI helps a lot. Can you imagine this game, but with a placeholder, like default widget here? Uh, it will just be like, not, it will completely destroy what everything you have done, right? So let, let's see. Let's analyze from here. Okay. So there is this concept and this concept is applies to any kind of game applies to no matter what kind of game you're you're making uh, they have this this concept is that whenever there is an input here there is something to happen like something happened. Input something to happen. And if something happens, then basically you get a response, right? So you get a response if something happens yes but not every time things happen so no so if something happens then you need feedback I don't know if you can read there. There you, there you go. Feedback. Uh, so, some you do something in your game. You either press something or go somewhere or something happens, and then there is a response from your system inside the game. Like if you are chopping a tree, then what happens? Like, well, the tree has an animation and then falls down right 
and what happens when it falls down like um i don't know there is some leaf vfx and there is some sounds or whatever so a lot of the times we skip a lot of these little details that make our game feel complete and that's why it still feels like prototype when there are not all not all the feedback is completed is because you may have put some kind of feedback but you didn't put all of it so let's take a look at this example well, let me just put it in so here you will have your character you will attack okay so you get into combat pose i don't know what's the how you get into that like i'm not a i, I haven't tried myself but it's okay you're, you're going from one state to another that's that's good that's good and you can see like it's you can kind of see in a slow motion where he punches the guy and there is an animation here right so you're getting some feedback here and then you punch again there is some feedback and the guy turns green I don't know for what reason, but it looks like he's anticipating an attack. So let, let's take a look. You punch the guy. You punch again. I'm not sure what, what this means in the UI down. Okay, so here you're blocking your attack so there are two parts here where you attack and the enemy receive damage and then you block the attack and receive damage now this attack is different because this one has some kind of feedback but not all the feedback that you will need for a combat system Okay, so what happens here is that you, you need to put a step by step what's in logical steps what's happening to the player like when I attack what do I want the player to feel and how can I achieve this feeling so if this is your player and then you, I don't know, you punch the guy, and then the guy is like, I don't know, you try to <laughs> do a better representation of the guy. Yeah, okay. So this is the player, this is the enemy when you punch what happens well you you got one it's an animation from the opponent let's only talk about what happens with the enemy okay with the enemy there is an animation and you have it but that's it like you get the hit animation but you don't get the another type of feedback so what can another type of feedback be it could be uh, hit bfx and you might be thinking like oh, but my game is realistic like i don't need hit bfx uh, 
you do even if it's realistic there is something that you can do that is very subtle that will enhance your experience so you get the hit b effect like whatever you hit there is like small sparks here and it's at believe it or not it's acceptable when when you're doing games even if it's realistic like this kind of realistic like you put a hit b effects on it it works just fine so what else you can have i think for the enemy that's it let's talk about the player so for the player you do the animation which you have it But the animation also needs some VFX. How about a small trail when you use the punch? And it doesn't mean it doesn't need to be like magic or something. Because you may want this character to be like melee only. But a little trail, even even if, if you play games like Elden Ring, where it's very realistic, you will see that they have a trail. And the reason is you need feedback for the player to hate you're attacking i want to make sure from every angle every possible aspect that you know you're attacking and i want it to feel good so what else can happen well the hit b effects is part of the enemy um another thing you can put it's a camera shake and this is a huge one not necessarily a camera shake, but it can also be a uh, game of cameras where you zoom out, zoom in, and you can just play with it until you get the response you want. So as soon as you do that, you, you will get like... You will get like feedback normally you, you wouldn't get. Okay, so let's take a look at one, one game. Okay. I think I found something. So let let's let's check this. Um have you seen that his punches even have a trail? And even like he punches and there is a BFX for distortion and some smoke. Like, you can tell me how realistic this is when you you hit someone and you, there's a smoke. Like, doesn't make any sense, right? And that's what your logical brain thinks, and that's why you don't put it, put it is because it, this is more about the feelings that the player will get. So if if you punch here and you get smoke, and you can even see, like... In slow motion, take a look at the camera, only focus on the camera, it's moving the whole time. And and when you do some uh some animations, it moves in a different way. Okay. So let's take a look at here. Hopefully with this example you can by the way this is a great game if you wanna if you wanna play it. I think it was free on the Epic Game Store. Okay, so, so in this particular case for this game, for the type of gameplay that they have and the design they went for, <laughs> the the enemies have like a it's like a comic right where they show they're gonna attack you so you can block the attack so that's also anticipation okay so 
every time your opponent has an attack you need to anticipate that he's gonna do that otherwise it's just gonna be unfair like okay like let's play your game with your rules where i need to block your attacks and i need to attack you and if i block enough attacks i don't die and if i attack you enough times then i should win the game that's the rules and that's what the, makes the game fun but if you don't tell me when you're gonna attack me then it's not about my skill it's about luck right because i don't know when you're gonna attack and if i don't know that i cannot react and that gives a lot of frustration and look at this his attack even has a, like a purple trail here have, have you seen this i don't know if you you managed to see the distortion here in slow motion look even with this guy i'm sure there will be a bfx there you go smoke and distortion smoke and distortion and the camera just moves a little bit See, even with the kick there is a trail in the kick you can see i mean even like this with very realistic graphics you can still put distortion sparks be a little bit crazy Another thing that is enhances the experience is the UI. You can see the number of combos you have in the left and it moves, right? Why do you think it moves? It's... I, I want you to take away something, guys. It's... When you're making games, especially if you're a programmer, you are locked into a thinking that the game needs to work and as soon as it works it's like your job is done and that's not the case when when you create something you create the whole experience it's it's more than an art than than a science so look at look at the kick also has a trail and all the combos Take a look, if he get another combo, look how it will change. Hopefully he, he gets another one. There you go. Animation for the combos go big and small, big and small, big and small. And they change the number and, and they move. And everything is like enhances the whole experience. Think about like a... I don't know if you, if you play MMOs where like... You have your character here and you have the stats and then you get like attack defense blah 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 like a bunch of nerd stuff because those mmos are for hardcore people and then you have your i don't know you can call the ap like your attack power which shows like a, i don't know two two thousand something the way MMOs work is that you upgrade little by little all your gear, like all your HP plus one, this one plus two, this one plus one, this one plus two. It's because if you only have one, your AP will be like instead of 2000, it will be like 1200, something like that. But it is when you combine a little bit of everything you don't need to do a lot you don't need to like plus 20 in one and the rest you don't have it's a little bit of everything then suddenly you become exponentially stronger and that's how mmos work and and the same in the same way games games work in a very similar fashion compared to mmos where there is small little details in every single mechanic that you need to add you may think it's not important you may think i don't need to animate the ui like it's not important it is it is very important so like hopefully it's, it's very clear like with this video you can see here he's gonna throw something you get the ui here that he's gonna throw 
And also the UI has some animation, it's flashing, right? Why is it flashing? Because it's making you know that it, it doesn't only, it's not only because it looks better. And that's something that a lot of programmers scratch their head, like, like, what do you mean look better, right? Because when you talk about art and having some uh, sense of design, then you will just say, like, it just looks better. I cannot explain why. Uh, it's kind of like playing music, you know, you're playing the right tones if it sounds good, right? It's same with here. You know you're doing it right if it feels good. And as soon as he gets hit, look at what happened. Look at the camera. It's the animation. It's the camera. Like, you get hit. And it's like this here, right? Like, everything is distorted. And we're we're checking this slowly, right? But if you take a look at this game, like with a normal camera speed, you will see a lot of things happening, and you won't even notice like what is exactly going on here. I don't think I can find the same fight as scene. There you go. You see, like it's it's really hard when you put it like you, you put in normal speed, a lot of things are going on. The effects, the UI, it's animating, the camera shakes. All these little things are adding up. And eventually you get you know your combat system that it it looks alright. So if we take back and look at the other example, can you list how many small things the combat system have? Animation, right. That's it. Like there's a little bit of an effect here. Animation only, no BFX, no trails, no camera shake, no UI that tells you you block something. Like this one? Okay, like you have some effects. Uh, uh, like if you want to leave it like that, you can have, leave it like that, but... You... Uh, you can put some distortion, right? Distortion effects. And hopefully with this, you can already see what's going on with the combat system. Like you're not doing anything wrong actually it works uh, the problem is you're missing a lot of small little details and that you may think no like this small little detail won't change the combat system because it actually works but it does when you add up all those small little things it really it really adds up to to the combat so it's all about the feedback Okay. Questions. Which country are we guys from? Uh, we're from Peru. Uh, I actually live in China because my wife is Chinese. Um, oh, we're from Latin America. Okay, there is another project, this one, fortunately, this one is very heavy, so it needs to wait a while. So let's go let's go to the other one. We got a lot of combat systems today. Oh, 
Okay. ALS Combat System Project. Finally, finally available on Patreon. Take a look. Oh, this is an overview. Oh, why it looks so low quality, the video? I'm on 1080p. Just take a look at the combat. I mean... Uh, why I hesitate to to give reviews on this kind of projects is because I know it's functional. It works. You see? But there is a lot of things that... I mean, for me, if... You cannot really create a system for everything because every game is unique. Uh, you could have some templates, right? And that's the thing. Like, I think this is a really good example. And thank you for sharing because this is a very good example where you can see logically everything is right. Logically, it works. Like, you have the HP bar, you have the animations. Like, the combat works, but why it feels weird is because you don't have these little things here. So, yeah, I mean, this looks like a really nice system. Let me just take a, like you're going to even have guns. But you know, all these things need some kind of feedback. Like the logical part of the game is, it's there. And that's why a lot of games feel unfinished or feel like more indie. It's because they don't know these concepts. I know this is not supposed like a finish game, it's, it shouldn't be because otherwise you lose the flexibility of the system where okay like no matter what type of game you're playing, you're making, if it's like a, it, it, it has combat, I think my system can help you out and you can start from there and there there is value in what you see here. The thing about this is that if you want to finish your game, it's not only the logical part, you need to add a lot of silly stuff that your logical brain may, may make you think that it's not really important because the silly stuff is not as important as the stuff that works, uh, but it does. And you know who, what's, who's the people who know Who's the people who know more about this stuff are the directors of AAA companies. You know, the directors, they have technical background in some area of game development. Like game directors or art directors. They do have the technical knowledge, but they, they start with, I mean, they start like everyone, like you do a very specific thing at job and then you're gonna repeat it over and over until you become good at it but what makes them directors is that they can see those things that's why in every time there is a review there is a guy who there is a director who checks the game with you and you're making a small little part of the game but he's thinking about all these little things about does it has the camera shake? How does it feel? Do we need to change it? How about the VFX? Is this the right feeling we want? Uh, is it too fast? Is it too slow? Like how does it work with everything as a whole? Like what about the UI? I think the UI is not working with the combat. I think we need to change the the UI to feel more like this or 
like the the anticipation i don't get the feedback i like I, the feedback I, I don't feel it's it's there like we need to add something and that's why they have these reviews over and over and that's why they are directors is because they have experience checking what kind of systems make the game feel like a game notice that i say the word feel is more subjective but it's like they have kind of like instincts for this they know what works and what doesn't and they have the experience with that and whereas when you're making a feature you don't have the whole picture it's very hard for you to to know maybe what you have done is not bad but com when you combine it with everything there are some things that you need to change and that's the thing about this But yeah, I mean, this looks like a really nice template. I don't have much comments on it in terms of like what you can do. I'm pretty sure you can do a lot of things. Uh, it looks really complete and it, it can definitely help you if you're making an like a action game and you can start from here, do it. And then you can change the character, retarget the animations with a new character. And then in your own blueprint, you can start adding like your own little logic. Like, okay, I want to put points here. I want to add some VFX in this animation montage. I'm going to add a notify and then I'm going to have a camera system. And you can add on top of it until you have like a really cool combat. Okay. Oh, cool. You're from Costa Rica. Parents from Ukraine. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. Also, oh, you've been living in Costa Rica for quite a long time already you're pretty much latino now hey damos asesoría para trabajar en equipo de forma remota ¿cuándo crees que podamos platicar sobre el tema? ahorita mismo andamos muy ocupados para, para hacer otros proyectos Estamos con las manos a full con otros temas. Es imposible, imposible que, que tengamos tiempo para hacer asesorías ahora. Al menos por el momento. All right. Let's see. Easy customizable first person. I mean, this project is basically what we just talked about, right? It's the logic behind the game. And that's a very important part of the game, but it's not the only one. So just keep that in mind. Dynamic first person. Change the camera. Flashlight. Stamina bar. Walking system. Interaction. Super easy to understand. Cool stuff. Pretty cheap. Hopefully it goes well. Okay.
Let's see. This one. A boss battle sequence. Take a look. Okay. Well, cool stuff. Cool stuff. I like the blending between the cinematic and the gameplay. It's pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. Uh, now, when it comes to lining. you may want to have some artificial lights in your scene like if you're talking about cinematics then like for example something like uh, let me see let me see if I can get this right Like you can start putting lights so you can have small little lights and shadows in your character. It's not really the best example, but... not working quite well but you, you can just put like a ring light here like a light that goes into this part I don't know if the I should catch this part. Now let me see if I can change the mode. Overlay looks like it works. So you you can have a like a like a light like this All right and basically you need the rect um this type of light i'm gonna i'm gonna show you now
So now if you have a red light, see where is this is pointing at you can change the density and the attenuation radius okay so it's it's like from this from this angle right and if you have an object let's just let's just put it here Uh, you can start lining like you can put your point lights here and then if you want the or a rim light you can either use a a light like this to catch some shadows there I mean, a lot of these things have a lot of artificial lights. Uh, the idea is that you want lights and shadows in your scene. And right now, if I, if I take a screenshot of this and I take a look at the black and white picture. And you see it's pretty dark. So as soon as I add a little bit of light or contrast like for example like let's do um let's do something like this uh brightness okay that actually that looks pretty cool uh but it's not what i wanted so you can you can kind of have lights in your scene where where not everything it's uh it's dark here and even this ones can be like very strong lights And definitely your characters are too dark, they don't have much lighting going on, so... Like as soon as you put this, you will have a lot to view your characters, so... Let me show you what I mean, just like that. Especially uh, the characters, you don't see them much and the characters are the main focal point in this shot so you're gonna have the contrast in this area so if i remove this let's take a look you see uh, now you see the green light there i and now with colors things start changing a little bit but maybe you can put one side of this light and the other one not something like that like the light is coming from the right and you're having these characters like lit like this that could be an option too um so yeah it's uh it's basically checking the lights that's uh that's one thing and the other I mean, I won't do an example of the lighting for every kind of a scene. I otherwise it's gonna take forever. But all these parts, like you can add some camera shakes, like to enhance the experience. Like this is moving, and to make it, you make the camera shake there to emphasize the steps of this, and when this. You see that there is there lacks a lot of weight in the scene where the the monster comes and just smashes the small one. Like this light, for example, very nice, very nice light. 
monster comes and it's just like it's zooming in zooming out it's just moving in random directions you can just enhance this by if the attack like goes down you can also put the camera down like boom like it goes with you and then like bounces like goes down and goes up like it's really hard to explain but uh basically you you want the camera to follow whatever the movement like if you are attacking like an uppercut or something you can put the camera to go up a little bit and then come back you want the camera in the same movement of the motion so yeah like here's a nice shot i think overall the scene is pretty dark very very dark i think you need more lines more lights here Uh, here somehow looks better that shot I think here when when it runs like just camera shakes I think you need a lot of camera shakes same here and a little bit of camera lag like you're moving but it's not like completely following you like a you know very straight you can add some camera like there it's very easy very very easy to add like same when it fires like a little bit of camera shake could work uh, i basically will add camera shake and camera lag That's basically what uh what I will do here. Most important thing. And then the lining, of course, I think overall the scene is too dark. Okay. Let's see another one. This is the same one. It is the same one. Again, same same type of stuff that I mentioned earlier. I really like that scene as a whole. It's very chaotic, like everyone running. It's like very, very cool, actually. I, I like how you integrate those cinematic elements with the gameplay. I think it's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Same here for the combat, right? Things we already talked about. More feedback, more camera shakes, more VFX, more trails, more... You know, all these little things that I add up. UI also can have some animation there. When you your magazine runs out, it's like it can start shaking, maybe those kind of stuff. But overall, I like the chaos that there is in this scene. I think that's working. You just need to put the gameplay elements in place. And again, I think this is too dark, too dark overall. Uh, yeah very nice work okay let me see it hey, looks like i i wanna i'm gonna leave the project put prototype for next next time i thought i could download it download it pretty fast but it's quite heavy so 
you're wondering what it is, I'm gonna show you now. It's the same one, right? Or it's not? Nice. It's not the same one. Nice. It's not the same one. It's this one. Um, pretty pop. It's quite heavy. And I don't know why it takes so long to download. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna have to leave it for next session. But anyway, um, hopefully this has been informative. You know, it's, uh, it's quite a lot, quite a lot of stuff going on when it comes to combat. It's, it's very funny because everyone sent things about combat and the whole streaming was about combat systems and how can you make it better. Let's just recap what, uh, what we just talked about. Remember there is the logic and the system. And then there are parts of the logic and system that are the feedback. Which technically it doesn't make the system work better. It just feels better. And those kind of things can be VFX, camera. Basically those two things, VFX and camera. Uh, animation. And I guess most people get the animation right because it's it's funny because the anima the animation needs to be part of the system right uh, because when you have a combat it's like okay this will be the animation for the attack so most systems have this i guess you cannot really have a combat system without animation um but there also needs to be animation for all the states when you get hit, when you hit the player, the the opponent, and the opponent what's their reaction. And it's a lot of states that need to be considered, but and we saw that even with realistic graphics, you still need to add a little bit of stupid stuff, you know, like like in, in your brain, like why will I have a purple trail in, in Batman, right? And you know, it just works, it, it feels right. And I don't feel it breaks the game. So all these little things add up. And we have seen many examples from the from the videos you have shared and and the combat systems you got i think we can agree that all of them need the feedback and also all of them have the logic in place which is very funny so yeah i i think that's that's pretty much it uh if if you want to share your your videos here like if you want to get a review on a project you're working on just go to our discord channel here you can just post in public reviews your your videos or whatever and i will take a look at it depending on how many videos we have i may do a session next week or if there is not enough of them i can just put it for another week until we have enough content and then we can do another review session so hopefully this has been informative uh thank you thank you so much for watching
If you want to share, feel free to do so. If you want to learn more about games, we have a lot of free content there. And if you want to learn more, make sure to check our action game course where you can learn all these things and much more insight so you can become a professional game developer. Okay, um, that's it for me. Thanks everyone and 